tourism in the Black Hills is essential for the state's economy. Some seasonal businesses even rely on that down that revenue to hold them over through the winter months. Ian tonight's eye on Kelloland Sydney Thorson explains how this year's summer tourism was impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. Custer State Park is one of South Dakota's most well-known tourist attractions. Visitor Services Manager Kobe Stalder says the first few weeks of tourism season was off to a slow start due to COVID-19. It was a, a, a slow period. Usually we kind of have a rush in springtime, uh, just when that's when our bison calves are born. Um, but, you know, due to the pandemic that happened, it, it was a slow start for us. However, since Memorial Day, the number of people visiting the park is right back on track with last year. Right now, uh, through the month of August, year to date, we're up about 4%. So we've seen about one, almost 1 1.5 million visitors. And year, you know, at yearly average is about 1 1.8, 1 1.9. Uh, so we're right on par with that to see that again this year. You know, if the weather stays nice, who knows, we could see maybe more. Stalder says while the park does get some funding from the state, that money only goes so far. Over 80% of our operating budget relies on visit visitations. So, uh, so yeah, we, you never know what, uh, what can happen, but you know, out, out here, you know, I think we're, we're going to be just fine heading into the next 100 years. The state game lodge was also hit hard when COVID-19 interfered with tourism season. Ryan Flick, the director of operations for Custer State Park Resorts, says while the resorts are doing much better now, they're still making up for some lost revenue. The season started slow, as, as it did for everybody else. Our, our May and June, we saw more uh, cancellations than reservations during that time. We lost probably a quarter of our business during that time. Right now, revenue for the state parks resorts is still down about 17 percent compared to last year. However, Flick believes they still have enough money to get through the winter months. We, we feel like we're in a good place in comparison to other parts of the country and and like I said, just really happy to be able to do what we do. Flick hopes for a strong comeback next year. Meanwhile, Visit Rapid City CEO Julie Jensen says while tax dollars are down about 18 to 20 percent this year compared to last, tourism season went much better than expected. Our summer has been really quite amazing. We were not sure what to expect starting in March, April and May, but about the first of June, things started changing and visitors decided that we were a good place to visit. Jensen believes most businesses will make it through the off season, although some have chosen to not open. Fingers crossed that they may change their mind come next next spring. We don't want anyone to have suffered more than anybody else during this pandemic. But if we can get through it with only a 20 percent reduction in income and in revenue, I think we'll survive. Both Custer State Park and Visit Rapid City are cautiously optimistic that this next month will make a positive impact on tourism season. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Sydney Thorson. And you can visit Custer State Park year round. The park's resorts are open from May to October. We've included links to their websites under the story at kelloland.com. Uh,